After Chris was diagnosed with asthma, I was a little worried about how he'd manage it at school. I went into Chris's school to talk to his teachers and the school nurse about his asthma. We went over things that might set off his asthma, like dust and classroom pets. I also talked to his physical education teacher and his coach because he gets symptoms when he exercises. I showed them the asthma action plan that Chris's doctor had filled out, and I left a copy with the school nurse. That way, they know about his medicine and when he should use his inhaler. Visit www.proairhfa.com slash PI for full prescribing information or call 1-888-482-5922 to have a copy sent to you. Approved uses. Pro Air HFA albuterol sulfate inhalation aerosol is indicated in patients four years of age and older for the treatment or prevention of bronchospasm with reversible obstructive airway disease and for the prevention of exercise-induced bronchospasm. Important safety information. If your symptoms become significantly worse when you use ProAir HFA albuterol sulfate, contact your doctor immediately. This may indicate either a worsening of your asthma or a reaction to the medication, which may rarely occur with the first use of a new canister of ProAir HFA. Either of these could be life-threatening. What to tell your doctor before using ProAir HFA. If you have a heart, blood, or seizure disorder, high blood pressure, diabetes, or an overactive thyroid, be sure to tell your doctor. Also, make sure your doctor knows all the medications you're taking, especially heart medications and drugs that treat depression, because some medications may interfere with how well your asthma medications work. Do not exceed the recommended dose. Side effects associated with ProAir HFA included headache, rapid heartbeat, pain, dizziness, and irritation of the throat and nose. You're encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088 to report negative side effects.